Hello, hello, hello. We are live with today's stream. So I'm just gonna share that on all the social medias and then I'll hop into the game. It is Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. Starting with uh, some Animal Crossing where, well, we should be getting our, the chocolates from Tortimer and we have Gracie visiting on my other towns. So fingers crossed getting something new from her. And then later, we're going to be playing some, Star, some more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, let's just uh, hop right into some Animal Crossing and get to it. Are you at the town? Yes. February 23rd, 4.24 p.m. Trying to run something good. Yes, I'll go to the neighborhood. Rick. Um, yeah, we're playing definitely a lot earlier than yesterday, so... We won't have, we had a new villa, yeah, we had a new villager yesterday, so we're not going to, unless we end up playing really long with Animal Crossing, we're not going to have a new villager today. Oh there, Rick. Well, a long time no see, eh? How goes it? Everything been treating you all right? I'll tell you, officially as mayor, a trip to the tropical islands is one of the finest things you can do. I'm fine with that. The kitchen's over after all. I've heard that you did exactly what I asked you to. The great work, kiddo, and I was promised I brought you a little present. Chocolates. Just a little something I brought back from for you from the sun drenched tropics. It was closely can't you just hear the soulful call of the sea? Oh yeah, for <laughs> a wharf. Okay, first let me just quickly check, confirm that yeah, no new villager. And then we got the chocolates. So let us um, bring up our furniture list and done. One more thing done. Awesome. Next thing we'll likely be getting will be the spring medal from the spring sports fair in March. Um, the dump model in May from spring cleaning. Then the various station models in July from the various hometown days. Telescope from the meteor shower in August. Jingle bed and jingle table from Christmas on Christmas Eve from Jingle. And then post model. I mean, post model could in theory be somewhere in there. But more, most likely that'll be the last piece of furniture we get, as that's by saving up a ridiculous amount of money. But who knows, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Also, let me bring up my holiday list. Uh, I mean, this isn't exactly a holiday, but it's an event, and we have it marked down on the holidays list, so let us just erase that, as that's something we have done now and no longer have to worry about. We got them chocolates. So let's... Um, Let's first of all check our mail. Uh, let's see what we got here. Dinosaur track. For all the dinosaur tracking needs. Ooh, a T-Rex torso. Fancy. Very fancy. And ooh, an Apatosaurus torso. Probably got something from Nook and the HRA. Yeah, it's done real for real. I don't know Elise who moved to Praetorius. That makes sense. Okay, now let's see what those chocolates look like. We're gonna put them in the gyroid right away so we can give them to um to uh Okay, okay. Yeah, so we can give them to uh slicer. So which is where we're keeping most of the like Tortimer gifts. Since most of the special gifts, uh, the exception being the any models. But yeah. Oh right, I still have the gyroid in here. Forgot about that. Free, free. Okay. Just think for a second. Okay, let's see what's going on. Anything on the message board? Ooh, yes, there is an R-Wing. 
somewhere in F5. That's right near the bottom. Oh, that's the yeah, very bottom corner by the dock. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So let's go about our exploration of town and see what we can find. And do what we can do. Oh, it's... Speaking of actually that gyroid, it was snowing the last two days, and it's not snowing today, which means in addition to our five fossils... Is there something buried back here? No. There will also be three gyroids buried somewhere within the town. So we need to make sure to keep an eye out for... Well, I mean, we're already keeping an eye out for anything buried. Actually, I guess we, so we have told... Let's see, five fossils, three gyroids, and the R wing makes nine total buried items within town that we need to keep on the lookout for. Well, very like this. Obviously, I guess there's a glowing spot, which also buried money, but that's looks different than these. It's fossil number one. Tons of fun. Like letter on our awesome dragon paper. But let's uh, let's talk to Lulu. How's it going, Lulu? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa to you too. Uh, what's going on? Oh yeah. Uh, I do I I do not have those kind of superpowers. Sorry. Much apologies. Okay, but you know. So, a bit of a expected but still good news uh, regarding, like, you know, the Netflix Marvel shows, you know, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Punisher, and The Defenders. Um, they will indeed, at least here in Canada, they're supposed to be getting added to Disney Plus uh, mid about midway through March. I assume that'll be the case in most places. Like, although in the U.S., I'm still assuming it's going to be Hulu rather than Disney Plus, but otherwise, probably still around the same time. it means they will still be available for watching. I mean, you know, depending on what, you know, if you don't have Disney Plus or, like I said, probably Hulu in the States, you have Netflix, that still means you'll have to get something else to watch them, but yeah. I, I have both Netflix and Disney Plus, although I may get rid of, I mean, I know I've been saying this for a while, I may get rid of Netflix soon-ish. I mean, logically, I should get rid of it, and then just, if I want to watch something on it again, just resubscribe at some point in the future when I'm actually going to be using it, rather than paying for it month after month when I'm not even making use of it. I, I, I did make use of it uh, recently. I rewatched Spider-Man Homecoming not too long ago. Hey, we're getting Wendell here. Are we getting Wendell here? Tomorrow. Oh, we had him in Winnipeg yesterday. We're getting him for Taurus next Monday. And he have Gracie and I'll work for today. Okay. So I might also go to Winnipeg and find out who they're... Actually, yeah. Let me just... Go back and... Especially because of the fact that you have the one that's Monday. I'm gonna actually erase this now so I don't. Because I was briefly confused there, like, oh, we're getting 
until Monday next week and then again Tuesday next week. But no, that, that, the Tuesday, Monday's next week, but the Tuesday was this week, so that's already passed. So I'm just going to be erasing it there so I don't get confused again. Okay, yeah, so we might go to Winnipeg yet and as well to find out who the next visitor is going to be there. Fingers crossed it's Gracie. Unless we get both of the things we need from Gracie to day in uh, Maltor 4. In which case, hey, then we don't really care which visitor we get. Um, Sydney, Sydney, just because you didn't see me until now doesn't mean I didn't wake up until now. Can I? Can I? Ooh. Okay, sure. I'll try. Playroom wall. Okay. That's, that's I mean... Pretty sure I, 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 I'm losing money on that deal because I'm going to sell that for, I'm pretty sure, a lot less, but that's fine. It's not a massive amount of money regardless. But she said it's like, you know, she said it's, you know, no, no item more than 3,000. It's like, yeah, okay. That's not a big deal. Okay, let's see what we got here now. Um, firstly, out of curiosity, if we had turnips, what could we get from them? 624. Okay, so... I mean, turnips here were on Sunday only. So this is a price bike, but I mean, they sold for 78 bells. Yeah. So if we had bought turnips, we would be selling them today. Um, whether we'd be selling them here or in one of my other towns depends on if any of my other towns have a better had a better price today, but but we didn't you know buy any, so this point is moot. It's interesting to think about though. Okay, we got some stationery at the top. Always handy. Also got a big dot shirt. Would wait. I already have woodland paper. That's unfortunate. I don't like doubling up on my stationary types. But to be fair, yeah, because I saw the one lot of the drying paper, we're not shifting everything over yet, but we probably will be shortly. But who knows, maybe we'll have some stationary also in the lost and found. And then we can use that instead. Except we might very well be getting our next fossil before we get to the lost and found. Unless that's a gyroid, the one that we saw down the ramp. Come on, gyroid. No, fossil number two. How about you? So then I guess we are having two stacks of woodland paper. Is this world coming to chaos? I tells you, chaos. Okay. Continuing onwards and forwards. Pause there. I wouldn't have noticed this other way. Fossil number three, just for me. We've already got three of the fossils and no gyroids. Interesting. Cody. Oh. That's new. Welcome, Trantor. Welcome to Trantor. 
I mean, I have written letters just like that. Rick here has written 160 letters just like that. Jake only wrote 20. Slicer only wrote 20. Samantha so far has only written 10. Oh yeah, actually, sure technically she's written 11, she just hasn't sent the 11th one yet. It's only the recipient for the 11th one. But... Angles on. Wendell Wright tomorrow. Yeah. That is indeed tomorrow. Anything lost? No, nothing lost. Okay. Now this should have... Well, my rock apparently, but also this is where the uh, buried treasure supposedly is. And I see something buried. Let's finish grabbing all my money. And we'll go dig up what is, I'm assuming, the Arwing. Well, it could be, you know, a fossil or a gyroid, yeah. And elsewhere in this acre is the Arwing we're after. We will know soon enough. Survey says you need to learn how to aim your shovel better. Yeah, that's the R wing. It's an R wing. It's R wing in the middle of the space. Okay. Ooh. I'm guessing gyroid. Yes. Mega Tympanoid. Is that something we need for Jonathan's house? Um, where is my Jonathan list? No, don't need any Tympanoids. Need a Mega Tutoid, but this is no Tutoid. Okay, so there's still. Two more gyroids and two more fossils out there. Plus the glowing spot. Which is good to know. I like to occasionally dig that spot just in case. Can't really see if there's something buried there because of that little the way the you know, cliff side kind of indents there. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna guess uh, gyroid. <laughs> All nebuloid. I don't think we need any nebuloids for Jonathan's house, but let us confirm that. It has been confirmed. Okay. Good stuff. Boris, my friend. Just me, yeah. No. Not handing out anything. What's new? Oh, uh, no, no, they haven't. I planted literally every tree in this town, Boris. Long before you ever even moved here. Nobody's cut down a tree in this town since long before you even moved here. So don't go giving me your wild accusations. what it is. Aaron, how are things? Everything is perfect. Trantor is a very livable place. That's right it is. Glad somebody notices. Okay. So we need 
two more fossils and a jet. Oh, well, here is. Okay, yeah, it's fossil. Fossil number four. Just one more. Fossil out here somewhere. And one more gyrate. And there's a. I thought the glowing spot. That was the spot next to the glowing spot. This is the glowing spot. Glowing with praise. Not sure how praise causes something to glow, but sure, we'll go with that. Maybe praise is radioactive. Radiation, or one of the two. I don't know. It's certainly possible. Just have to test it to find out. Okay. So need another gyroid and another fossil. Near the actually how many one two three four five six seven, right eight villagers okay coming up yeah the final stretch of ten oh uh, fossil fossil number five we're alive so now I just need a gyroid let's talk to the last uh, three of my villagers and. Any more weeds? Uh, so there are any more weeds. So Tiara, Tiara is not in right now. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Also not in right now. Well, Carrie at least is right here. A little late for good mornings, yeah. Starting nice, nice. That's nice. Oh, there's our igloo. It's either anchovy or tiara. Huh, we didn't find the third gyroid. That's interesting. Usually if I miss something, it's, you know, a fossil. But today we have a gyroid that's missing. I'm gonna guess Tiara. No. Anchovy. Ah, I should have stuck with like, my original guess, Tiara. <laughs> uh, snow ooh, snow bunny or a citrus wall. is. We've done a complete sweep of town and did not come across them. Uh, well, I mean, that's the thing. He could be anywhere. Essentially. Oops, he can't be in his own homemade card. Right that's the one we can confirm he's not in because it said, you know, that he wasn't when we checked his door. Any num other number of places he could be. Okay. One last letter. Okay. Well, 
let's go. We'll do a quick check just by the um, wishing well. Just in case that's where I somehow missed him. Since that is one of the more common acres for villagers to go to. That's sometimes like I do a run around of the the acre and then I don't I don't see them and then I you know all of a sudden I see them walking around. Nope. Doesn't look like it. So that's fine. We will go and uh go and sell the junk and then head over to Meltwork 4. Yeah, tomorrow, so tomorrow will have to be extra paying attention. I'm looking for buried stuff. Uh, I'd like to sell. Yes. Okay. Let's go to Meltwork 4. Fingers crossed. We get something we need. Yeah. At the moment, we need two pieces of clothing from Gracie yet. And we have three opportunities to get clothing from her. So it's mathematically possible. It's not likely, but it's mathematically possible we could get everything we need from Gracie yet today. But whether or not that will happen is another thing. We'll just have to wait and see. Is Melkor four? Let's go. Regardless of anything, our furniture went up by one today, so that's good. been since, you know, yesterday, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, is what it is. Okay. So onwards. There we go. Check the message board first, just just to see if there's anything on there. Nothing new. Okay, don't have to worry about that then. And nextly, we got in the dump. No, another big dot shirt and a jersey barrier. Interesting. Second big dot shirt uh, we've seen in, the, in a dump today. Just out of curiosity. 88, okay. 47. Right here. 
Here we got a glowing squad out of it. Awesome. Yeah, here we have Gracie. So, um... Let me bring up the clothing list of what we need from Gracie. That's for sure. Uh, clothing. And let me also explain. So it's a mini game where we wash her car. Oh, that's wrong pen. There we go. I rapidly um, pressing the A button. I do a trick where I rub a pen over it, so I can go really fast. Because the only way I can possibly do this. So my wrist has been sore today. Hopefully this is fine, but. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off the mic though while I do it, just because it otherwise is a bit noisy, but uh, wish me luck. Well, we have done a good job. So now we're hoping for the butterfly shirt. Or the lavender robe. Either one. And survey says shirt circuit. It's a cool outfit, but no more after. Okay. Oh, we still have two more chances to do that today, which is other characters. So, well, in a bit switch before we're done, we'll switch to like uh, two of those four characters to tr try <coughs> twice more. Um, anything lost? Something lost? Let's see what it is. Sure. We've got a flagman sign. Okay, good to know. Good stuff. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's go check if Gulliver happens to be in town. Uh, I know we've seen him this week already, but I don't know which towns we've seen him in. So, we may or may not have seen him in this town already. Almost certainly we saw him in Trantor already. And I think one of my other towns? But I have no idea which one. Doesn't seem like he's here though, so no more worries on that end. Uh, then let us head back and, uh... All that stuff. Uh, this way. <laughs> See, one of my towns, I have like, I think it's in Pretorius that I have like an acre like this that leads up to a dead end here because the ramp is like a little bit over. And in this town, that, that section leads up to the ramp. So it always like kind of throws me off. I think with having multiple towns, it can be easy to get like mixed up with similar, uh, especially when there's similar geography between them and such. Okay, and yeah, once I, once I get 18 up to 18 towns, the that's just gonna be a mess. I'm gonna be like checking my maps even more often than I do now. But that's for, uh, you know. I mean, that's, as I say, that's for future Eric to worry about. But not even far future Eric, because possibly as early as Friday we'll be starting on creating additional towns. Because basically the reason we need to create additional towns, well, one of the reasons, the reason we need 15 towns, we actually want 18 towns, but the reason we need 15 towns is because there's 15 variations on the train station, we need all the, all the train station models. One of the big variants is the roof color, which white is not one of the colors. It's just covered in snow, which is why it looks white, and why you can't tell what the roof color is. So, without being able to see the roof color, 
some some of the train station variants look otherwise the same. So that's why we're waiting until the snow goes away, which on Friday it'll be gone, and then we'll be able to see the train station roofs, and then we'll be able to, you know, so then we'll be starting on creating additional towns. Until eventually I have a total of 18 towns. Currently at four towns, so I need to create another 14. Yeah. The nice thing is though, you see the train station right as you, you know, arrive in town, so it's pretty much like, you know, we get in town, see if it's the train station we need or not. If it is, keep it. If not, reset it and create another, try creating another town. Hey Emily, welcome in. How's it going? How are you doing? Yeah, it's definitely nice because, like, if, 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 what was I saying? My brain just suddenly blanked. Yeah, um, good, good kind of tired of his chill. Oh, yeah. Like, I, like, I don't know what I was talking about. I don't know what I was talking about the train stations. Creative towns. I just don't know where I was going with that sentence. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So that's something that I'm looking forward to, just creating the towns. And yeah, because we don't have to worry about like because I'll be pretty much as soon as we see the train station, if it's not what I need, I'll be resetting. I don't have. To, this might be where I was going with it, but. Said uh, or said it's earlier, but I'll, I'll be able to reset before even looking at the town map, which means I don't have to worry about like throwing out a town. And I'm like, oh, I like this map because no, I'll just reset as soon as I see the train station if it's not what I need. That way, I'm not like going in, falling in love with the map, and then realizing, oh, I have to reset. That's a good plan. Oh, somebody uh, moved out. It was. Tiara. Tiara moved out. Okay. Also... Do we already have the mail from her having moved out? Yes, indeed. Sure, let's go just, just past five. Um... Also, let's go see if we can talk to Anchovy now. Because he wasn't by his house earlier and we didn't see him anywhere, but maybe now he will be? Yes. Hey, Anchovy. Yes. I did not oversleep Anchovy, so I must just have a job. I know that. I've grown literally every fruit tree in this town, and literally every tree in this town is a fruit tree, so I, I think I know my stuff. Okay. Um, now what are we doing now? Um, going to Winnipeg so we can find out who the next visitor there is going to be. So just give me a moment to swap out memory cards and we're going to Winnipeg. Up to today, anyone do anything interesting? I know it's a Wednesday, so like middle of the week, so not necessarily the most interesting day of the week. Although, but you know, people's schedules vary, so. My main thing I did today was work. This is the interesting bit of my day, is the streaming bit. Um, 
Not sure how much I'll be doing after stream either, because don't want to be up too late tonight. Well, we'll see. Definitely have a few things I want to do after. Well, I have a few things I need to do after stream, and then we'll see how long the stuff I need to do takes me. <laughs> it's always the tricky thing doing stuff you need to do first, and then have, you know if you can fit in something you want to do afterwards. Awesome, but it's not necessarily something you can count on. And although even with stuff you need to do, there are varying degrees of need to do. Some stuff it's like, because there's definitely a lot of stuff where it's just like, I need to do it, but honestly if I like put it off it's fine. I mean certain stuff it's like, you need to do it, but you don't necessarily need to do it right away. Like, you don't need to necessarily do it today. Sometimes that's like the tricky thing is getting your brain to be like, okay, hey, yes, I know this is all my to-do list, I know this is something I need to do, but I can put it off until tomorrow. <laughs> and just figuring out. But of course, at the same time, you don't want to like, you know, be like, oh, I'm just going to put this off until tomorrow. And then tomorrow, put it off until the next day, and then the next day, and then keep putting it off. Obviously, you don't want to do that, but it's all about finding the balance. Okay. Let's go and check. Nope, not the new one there. And just out of curiosity, what are you, uh, what are your car prices today? 95, okay, so if we had turnips, we would probably be selling them in Trantor today. Although, that being said, if we had turnips, we probably would have been checking the turnip prices every day, so we might have already... Because I didn't check the turnip prices... Yeah, both, like, Monday and Tuesday, I checked the turnip prices in Trantor, and... If I travel to any of my other towns, I check them in the other towns as well, but I didn't check them in every town. So while we know we have a price bike at Trantor today, and we don't, don't have a price bike here in Winnipeg or in Melbourne for today, we don't know that we wouldn't have had a price bike the last two days that I went on this, or a price bike in Praetorius today, because I'm also not going to be going. I, no reason to go to Predatoris today, so... Yeah. Okay, well, let's go check if Gulliver's in town, and then... find out who our next visitor is going to be. Fingers crossed we're racy. I mean, yes, it's still mathematically possible that we could still get both things we need from her yet today, but... it's increasingly unlikely. Hey, Gulliver. Just one way for thin mint. Well, you know what they say about mints. I don't know what they say about mints, I assumed he did. Okay. Um. I want a tradition. Uh, yeah, yeah. Port Town, all that jazz. Hey, Jaxper, welcome in. How's it going? How are you doing? Uh, let's see what we got from him. Pagoda. Okay. Doing okay. I'm doing all right. Doing all right on the tired side, but when am I not? <laughs> Okay. Who is the next visitor going to be? And survey says... Ah, Sahara. Not super exciting, but perfectly fine. I mean, really, at this point, anyone other than Gracie isn't super exciting, because we don't need anything from anyone else. But... 
February 25th. Okay, that's Friday. So at least that's not too far away. And then afterwards, we'll get another visitor. Okay. And then, what's that other thing? I check if there's anything in the lost and found. Oh, they do have something in the lost and found. Let's go check what it is. A piece of clothing. I'm probably getting a lot of clothing in this town today. A red tie dye. Okay. I think that's it for what we need to do here in Winnipeg. I'll just go sell the stuff before leaving. In this case, actually, it, it does make sense for me to sell stuff before. Because, like, often I, you know, sell the stuff before leaving. I'm like, well, I really could just sell it as soon as I get back. But here, because this town still just has Nook's Cranny, we want to be doing business here, whether it's buying or selling, so that this Nook's will eventually upgrade. Although we actually needed to upgrade, granted, but... Does Nook have raffles when it's Nook's cranny? I'm honestly not certain. I guess we'll, we'll see on, um... See on the month Monday. Assuming it's still looks cranny then, I guess we'll see if there's a raffle here that day. Because I'm just, like, looking at the size of it and being like... I mean... Well, no, I guess because... Yeah, the tables would just be gone then for that. Never mind, it would still... It would fit. I'm still not sure if I've ever actually seen a raffle day in Nook's Cranny. I might have. But it's certainly, it's been a while since I've had, you know, Nook's Cranny in my other towns. Um, so I might just be miss. So I might just be forgetting, especially with my memory. You know, you know how it goes. Well, that being said, at this point, my memory is at the point where, like, for I can actually, like, just remember off the top of my head literally everything I need for uh, finishing off the catalog in this game. Because uh, for furniture, we have... Well, we've got the chocolates today, so that actually goes up to 581. Um, the uh, spring sports medal will put us at 582. The, um, the dump model will put us 583, the 14 train station, 14 train station, okay, technically I don't know which train station model I already have, I think it's 7 or 8 that I already have, I don't remember the exact number, but whatever, I know I need 14 of the train station models, so that'll put us at, uh, 597, um, Telescope will put us at 598. The jingle bed and the. Okay, actually. I know I'm missing two pieces of jingle furniture. I know one of them is the bed. I can't remember what the other one is, but I still know it's two. Oh no, it's a table. Jingle bed and jingle table, actually. I do remember. That'll put us at 600. And then the. Um, post office model will put us at 601. For wallpaper, we just need the jingle wallpaper. For carpet, we need the jingle carpet. Clothing, we need the jingle shirt, lavender robe, and butterfly shirt. For items, we need. Okay, actually, that's one. I know it's one of the pinwheels, but I actually don't remember which pinwheel off the top of my head. 
Because I don't remember the, all the details. Also, I don't actually remember all the... I don't know which music we're missing. So maybe I kind of exaggerated. I, I know at least what cat... I, for, furniture, I know like what, at least like what... Generally what stuff I need for the other things I know mostly what I need. Whatever. <laughs> I'm getting annoyed with myself for pointing out my own thing. Nobody else actually cares. <laughs> uh, who moved out? Below Anchovy was uh, Carrie. Carrie moved out. Okay. Actually, what are we on? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six. Down to six villagers. Interesting. But uh, let's actually go and update our catalog numbers. And this time there actually is something to update. It's not just like normally where I just go to double check and it stays the same. Furniture will be at 581. If I, you know, so I successfully enter my catalog instead of trying to sell something. Uh, let's see my catalog. 581, look at that. We are moving, we are grooving, and does that change the percentage? I feel like probably not. It's probably still 97%, but let me do the math just to confirm that. Calculator. 581 divided by 601 equals, yeah, still 97%. And like, honestly, like, we're even rounding up to it because it's, technically it's like, 96.672213 percent and that's as far as you know the calculator shows although i'm sure the decimal number points keep going on uh, otherwise wallpaper should still be 66 yeah carpet should also still be 66 clothing 244 item 63 all 64 stationary all 127 gyrites all 25 fossils and music should still be 36. All good. All good in the neighborhood. I was like, I actually make uh, make some actual progress on the numbers. Sink. One second. Yeah, I was a little out of sync. Good stuff. Um, now let's go do a round of balloon fight. Because that's, you know, the percentage that we're still really low on is the whole 100%ing NES games. Really good run two days ago, and not so, not as good a run yesterday. Let's see how today goes. Phase one, I had trouble hitting the last one apparently, but it's fine. Nice. Phase two went relatively smoothly. Phase three. stuff. Our first bonus round as we are moving, we are grooving, we are shrooving. Challenging bonus round. 
perfect without even without any trouble. Be careful saying something like that now, and I've jinxed myself, and the next bonus round is just gonna be a monster. Maze or Nice, I mean the fish got simultaneous kills. That's what friendship is all about. Wait, no it's not. <laughs> it's pretty much a friendship actually. Also the fish would, you know, wouldn't hesitate to kill me if I got close enough. under your shield. Those are relatively simple uh, bonus round as well. Let's get it out perfect without too much issue. But it's just trying to lull me to a false sense of security. I know how this game thinks. Phase 7. Nice. I love when phase 7 goes like that. Take out all but one of them before they even get in the air and then just. Still very little issue. Ooh, a nice smooth phase eight as well. Phase nine. I hate those flippers. Okay. <laughs> Staying on the other side of the screen until the <laughs> lightning. I knew which way the lightning was going. Fish just like must have gone quickly across the screen to take out both of them like that. Perfect. Thirteen. 
Good stuff, good stuff. Phase 14. Awesome. Phase 15. Nice, you're going. Fish food. Awesome. Bonus round once again. That was a bit close, but we still got pulled off our perfect. But yeah, that one just, you know, a few times where it made me, like, change direction and speed and such. Oof, 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 oof. Hey, Iron Yoshi. This is a sentence test. Oh. Fucking lie, I first accidentally misread that as sentence test. <laughs> I'm like, are you testing if I'm sentient? Because <laughs> I'm 99% certain that I am. Okay, just another, another chat earlier and all the words were bunched together. <laughs> Always wondered about my sentience. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Understandable. Anyway, hi bye. <laughs> oh, how do you go already? Okay. No worries. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Let's be careful. We have a bonus round after this, so we can get our balloon back, but we do need to make sure not to get hit again. Oh, where's lightning going? Okay, down. Okay, good. Whew, that was a bit worrying, but we got the bonus rounds, we got our balloon back. Oh, 
Ooh, barely got that perfect. Feels like one of those games that would kill your thumbs. Surprisingly, not really, no. Um, don't really have much issue with this one. Phase 22. Oh, I don't know. That might be, might be the case for other people, maybe. I just have a decent tolerance for that kind of stuff. Phase 23. <laughs> oh, where is okay. The nice thing is you can only have two things of lightning out at once. So as we're getting into these later, further and further phases, it's actually safer in some ways to have two lightning out. So while you have to avoid them, at least you know a lightning isn't suddenly going to appear out of a cloud while you're right next to it. Perfect. I hate this layout. Twenty six. The lighting had gone down and to the right, I would have been dead there. Luckily it did not, but I need to be more careful about not putting myself in a position where whether I live or die is dependent on the lightning RNG. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, Eric, you're, what were you literally saying? <laughs> <laughs> I have a bad habit of that, talking about something I should be doing in order to avoid, should be doing or not doing in order to avoid dying, and then immediately dying from that very thing I was talking about. Like, I'm, I need, I need to go back and check the VOD for like, um, when I was playing Blaster Master on Monday, but I'm pretty sure I was talking, I, I think I was talking about fall damage right before I died from fall damage. <laughs> yes, very great timing. <laughs> oh, still decently far, so at least like, you know, 
keeping on going at least feels like good practice, if nothing else. Be our best, sorry, can't be our, you know, our furthest run without dying, but it could still be our furthest run just like in general if we do a better job with not dying. Moving forward, phase 30. I just need to stop talking about, um, Anything related to dying in this game. Or any game. Other than intentional. Like, some games have intentional deaths for various reasons. That's fine. That I can talk about because that's, you know, intentional. <laughs> Not that I very often will have situations where I want to intentionally die in a game. Um... Like on the speed run, sometimes people will die in order to, like, you know, uh, get back to, like, you know, certain start of an area or something faster. Do we miss one of those balloons? I'm not sure. No, perfect. We still have that going for us. Haven't missed a perfect duck yet today on the bonus rounds. It's 31. Or also in certain games, and this is something I think I, I'm pretty sure I have done, where you die to like reset, like your, uh, you know, fill up your like equipment or ammo or whatever. Welcome back. Uh, I'll read the rest of your messages momentarily. Debating whether or not to play some nostalgia. What is nostalgia? I'm not familiar with... I'm assuming, like, you mean a game called nostalgia, and not just, like, playing something for nostalgia. Because obviously I know what the word nostalgia means. <laughs> just to make sure that's clear. Oh, Battalion Wars. Okay, so you were talking about playing something for nostalgia. <laughs> See, I was assuming that there was a game called Nostalgia. Um, never played Battalion Wars or any of the Advanced Wars or any any of that franchise. So I cannot uh, really say one way or the other. I mean, if you want to play it, then I would say play it. Yeah. Probably play the series eventually, because, I mean, it's a series that has, uh, not character representation, but it does have representation in Smash Brothers, so, you know, in the case of, like, uh, assist trophies and other such things. So I'll probably play it eventually. As you know, I eventually want to beat every game from every series with representation in Smash Brothers. I mean, in some cases, like, you know, beating. Beating is a uh, loose term, because not all games have, like, a traditional, like, way of beating it. I mean, heck, like, Balloon Fight here, I'm working on 100% but like, just for beating it, what I consider beating it was like, what is it, phase 15 or 16, whichever point where it, um, stops having new stages and just keeps repeating the same layouts over and over. So basically every, beating every unique phase was my, what I consider beating Boom Fight, but that's just kind of a, you know, because it doesn't have a traditional, like, beating it way of beating it, so it's just like, okay, that's how I determine the equivalent. 
probably like something like NES Baseball I'd consider beating it just like winning a game, probably. Um... Knowledge doesn't fail in my uh, 5 battalion or something that makes big development of advanced force kind of drifts off against its own thing. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, it's part of the greater Nintendo Wars series. Advanced Wars was just the first one to come to North America. It started with uh, Famicom Wars on, you know, the Famicom, the Japanese version of the NES. Um, and I don't know if there was more than one of those. I think there was also a Super Famicom Wars on the Super Famicom, their Super Nintendo. And I think Game Boy Wars or GB Wars on the original Game Boy. I think, and that I think there were a few of. I'm actually just going to look it up because I'm curious now. But yeah, then it went to Advance Wars and Battalion Wars. And Battalion Wars, the name. Um, actually, no, the Battalion Wars. Because that was on the GameCube, right? Yeah. Italian Wars 2, I remember, was um, kind of stylized as, you know, an II for 2, but also, like, you know, it's BW2, so, so like, has kind of Wii in the title, because that was for the Wii. Um... Ah, oh, the War series. Okay, here we go. So Famicom Wars, Game Boy Wars, Game Boy Wars Turbo. Oh, which is just an enhanced version. Super Famicom Wars, Game Boy Wars 2, Game Boy Wars 3. Yeah, so I was right. So there was Famicom Wars, Super Famicom Wars, and three Game Boy Wars. Then Advanced Wars, Advanced Wars 2, Advanced Wars Dual Strike for the DS. With Dual Strike being DS. Then Battalion Wars, Battalion Wars 2. Advanced Wars Day of Ruin, which is also on the DS, and now the reboot. Advanced Wars 1 and 2 reboot on the Switch. Yeah. Okay. Let's... Um, anyway, that was our balloon fight. Um, so I think we're done with Rick here. We're not done with Animal Crossing, though. Because we still have two more attempts to get uh, to get outfits from Gracie. Actually, I meant to be a medieval version of Battalion Wars. There's some old files that I got that show this. Grand presumably Con Scar Source and interesting. It's actually very interesting because like Battalion Wars also has a lot of um, stuff in common with you know the Fire Emblem series, which itself is kind of a medieval version of. Although I guess that, that that would be more medieval version of like the other wars games, because like because Battalion Wars was uh, r real time strategy, right? As opposed to the other wars games, which were turn based, I think. Like I know that m main war, most of the, game, the advanced wars and earlier ones were turn based, but I think Battalion Wars was real time, right? And correct me if I'm wrong on that. But anyway, we need to swap memory card to. Again, not to work for. Give me a moment to once again swap memory cards. swap between units, get in there, get your hands dirty type thing. Oh yeah, okay, that's what that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I knew there was some kind of a real-time aspect to it. Um, I'll talk for this. Uh, we'll go through Rupert first. If anybody can manipulate you know, things to get what I want. Um, Loading. So we're trying to get the butterfly shirt and the lavender robe. As of right now, it's possible for us to get both of them right now, today. Quite a bit of knowledge on Battalion Wars can tell the story in a nutshell. Kind of not what we're talking here, though. Like almond, pistachio, um, peanut, 
Uh, cashew. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> um, what do we all got here? Oh, we got a bunch of Valentine's gifts. From, you know, like a week ago. I just haven't played this character in a while. And then Zoe moved and Red on the fifth on the eighth was here. Okay, let's see what see what we all got. I'm gonna have to like sell all this stuff. Spunky net. Uh lace shirt. Gonna see if there's anything that I think suits Rupert better. One ball shirt. I mean, I know what the one ball shirt looks like. I up to you if you want to talk about it. Death per shirt. Chevron shirt. Well, I think that's what we already have, um, Jake wearing over in Trantor. Don't need father and son wearing the same shirt. I think we're just gonna stick with whatever he was wearing before. What was this? Oh, to a model one. The orange pinstripe, I think, works well for him. Um, so let's go sell this junk. No, actually, no, we will go wash the car first. Um, because then we can just, because if we don't need it, if we don't get uh, one of the ones we need, we can just gonna be selling, we can sell that right away as well, anyway. Oh, this is actually, yeah, Gracie. My clothes make people look hotter than they really are. Uh-huh. Look, this is a Rupert Teleros here. I know this is the Animal Crossing, so he just, you know, looks like, you know, a regular villager. If we're going with canonical Rupert Teleros, he looks kind of like Liam Neeson. Mainly because of the fact that I first created him as a Lego character and I used a Quagon Jin head. <laughs> Gonna turn off the mic while we uh, wash the car. So wish me luck. slipped at one point and then I couldn't recover so nope we're not even getting a Gracie original here game gets with a rocky relationship between West Frontier and Tundra Tundra and territories on each other's borders so like some kind of Cold War-esque feud so we just got a standard outfit uh, I feel like I'm wearing that with one of my characters in one of my towns but I'm not sure which yeah, we're just gonna go sell all of this. Okay, so it's now mathematically impossible for us to get both things we need from Gracie today as we only get one more shirt from her. Assuming I actually don't mess up again. It's embarrassing. Uh, I'd like to sell. Hey! Oh wait. <laughs> I was going to I was about to say, hey, Rupert's current funds are the year, but no, it, it, it was last year. 2021 was last year. Oh well. Okay, so anyone have a preference for which other character I should try? So Rupert failed, so we could try with Jennifer, Catherine, or Bob. 
Anyone have a preference for which of them I should use for this endeavor? Or is it dealer's choice? Ah, Rob Nibbles lives in this town. Dealer's choice. Okay. I think we'll go with... We'll go with Bob, just because he's the top choice. <laughs> like, when I say top choice, like, he's top of the list, so... I don't have to press down to get to his name. Got a train exercise... Under the directory... Oh, yeah. Finally provoke a war, forcing a clash between the two nations. Not a lot of Valentines for Bob. If any. From Daisy. Daisy sent him a Valentine. Cruel shirt. Gotta be cruel to be kind. No. He's sticking with a skull shirt. So what else we got here? Lunar Rover for sale. Claude moved. Frigga moved. Eloise moved. Tom Nook. Sale February. Oh! That was a sale that happened on the 20th? That makes sense, yes, I think. Yes, that makes sense. Because that was Monday then we, where we found out that Gracie was coming today. Okay. Uh, Zoe moved red on February 8th. Deanna, or Dina moved, I almost said Deanna. Well, I did say Deanna. Uh, Rasher moved, okay. Okay, and let us oh, we're over here, right? Yes, let us try once more. And my wrist will hopefully be okay with me trying once more. <laughs> I think that was also part of why I had trouble recovering after I slipped with the pen. Because basically this is a mini game where you're just rapidly pressing the A button and right when I'm unaware and I rub a pen over it because I can do that way I can get it a lot faster than just by pressing it normally. Sun hides to prove, see as there's no way out of this, for so just down and take it upon himself to continue. Oh yeah. Okay, turn off the mic now, wish me luck. Okay, well, we successfully watched it that time. Now, the question is if we get one of the ones we need. And survey says... Leopard print, damn it. Nope, not one we needed. Starts with the right letter, L. We need a lavender robe, but... Oh well. Too bad, so sad. Don't be mad. Oh, actually, wait. Before we, should I can go find it now that uh, we've got all th we've got three outfits from Gracie. That means she'll have left, and we can find out who the next visitor is going to be. Um, which I mean, it's not gonna be the same character twice in a row. I don't think it can be. Um, but, so, we're not gonna get a visitor we need, but at least find out when they're gonna, the next visitor is gonna be, so at least we're, you know, know when to check again. Any goings on? Okay, red is gonna be coming here. Uh, where are we? We're a Meltork 4. 
when is he coming? February 25th, uh, so that's Friday. Okay, so we have two visitors, Red in Meltwork 4, two visitors on Friday, Red in Meltwork 4 and Sahara on, in Winnipeg. You know, Trinitor is Wendell tomorrow, and Kratos is Wendell next Monday. Okay. Good to know, good to know, good to know. And keep at until... So one day, eventually, we'll get the his last two shirts. If nothing else, like, once I have, um... 18 towns, we're gonna have so many visitors just, like, constantly that it should go relatively quickly. Because, yeah, because, because, uh, I mean, that's why you, you, know, you play the odds or whatever. It's just like, because you just need it to happen once for each of those shirts, right? And if you're getting, like, just constant visits, that gives you more and more chances. Okay, um, I think this is where we're going to call it with Animal Crossing then, and we're going to be switching over to some Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic right away. Yes, today's Wednesday. <laughs> I mean, if nothing else, I can look at my stream title, because I, you know, said Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic later. So, um... So just give me like um just give me like a minute or two to swap everything over cable as far as cables go and start up and turn on the game and all that. And then we'll be playing a bit of Star Wars Nice Little Republic. I'm not sure how long we'll be playing it, because we did start pretty late today, um, but I wanna play at least a bit of it, so just give me a couple minutes to set it up.